Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happy Ever After Living. Today is Wednesday, March 8th. Oh my gosh, I've been procrastinating this workout. Okay, so let me tell you guys a few things. So I really don't have like a topic or anything in particular to talk about for today's weigh-in video. So I'm gonna do the weigh-in, but I'm also just gonna share like random rants that's on my mind this morning. So first of all, one of the reasons I've been procrastinating the work, you ever have those mornings where you just wake up and you still feel tired? Like I actually slept quite a few hours last night, but I just feel a little, actually, you know what? Now that I'm saying it to you guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so I have this. So just ignore the ashy lips. I'm about to handle that in a minute. Um, so this past weekend, I did a 10 mile bike ride and I am still so sore. So typically, you guys, I ride like a road bike, like a bike with the skinny wheels that you do duathlons, triathlons with, but I haven't been on my road bike in like years. So one of my friends invited me to go on a bike ride on Sunday and I rode my mom's, I pushed my, like, I say push, but like power, like with my legs. I pushed that Walmart bike 10 miles like oh my gosh and i think that's what's like why i feel tired today and i did a total body workout monday and then yesterday i did six miles so i think like i don't feel tired up here like mentally but my body just feels so sore and just so like when you do something different that's exactly what it is like when you do something different okay i can't take these ashy lips hold on guys like when you do something different, like your body just feels so like you're, you're paying for it. And then the other thing is that my husband got a new bike and he put it together last night and he got to bed like kind of late after putting the bike together. So he didn't have time to put everything back in the garage. So it's just like sitting here. And I know he doesn't expect me to clean it up. Like he know, he's gonna clean it up, but it's here and I'm like, I don't want to film because the garage isn't clean. That's so weird, right? When you guys have seen it like 10 times worse. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so it's not that bad, but okay, there's Ramsey. Say hi to my friends, Ramsey. Say hi. You guys see the tail? Yes, yes, Ramsey. Give him some face, give him some face. All right. Okay, so we got this mosquito zapper. He's gonna put that up somewhere for me. You guys, the mosquitoes in Florida are insane and they started like eating me up in the garage. I'll put that right there so he can take care of that when he gets home tonight. And then, so like this is here. Um, this is his new bike, it is so gorgeous. But he put this together last night. So like that stuff is there and then I can move this. But anyways, I'm just making excuses. You guys ever make excuses like when you just don't really want to work out, but you know you need to work out? Look at that mosquito. Wait, oh, mosquito chasing me. <sighs> All right, guys, so I am going to go ahead and start my workout, and then I'm gonna pop back in and talk about what happened last week. And honestly, it is not even that bad. Why am I tripping? Why am I tripping? All right, let's put the... So I use two tripods when I'm working out. I'm just sharing everything with you guys today. So I have this one for my phone, and then I have this one for the camera that I'm about to mount here. And then here's my ring light. You guys, this ring light has never been right since I bought it, but I'm just one of those people, like I always forget to send stuff back. So when I finally decided to use it, it was past the date. So like ring light should stand up like this. And I think we it came missing with a screw or something. I don't know, but once I found a way to still make it work, I just kept making it work. So yeah, my ring light is so janky. I keep saying I'm gonna buy another one. I really do wanna buy another ring light so that I have one in the house and then one like in the garage so I don't have to keep moving them back and forth. But when I made that decision, I went to go look to rebuy that same ring light and why was it like $30 more? Why? Actually, I think it was even more than that. Cause I got that ring light for like either $99 or $109 way back. And like now they're like $139 or $159. Why? For the same, same thing, like nothing changed. All right, let's warm up real quickly. And then today I have a total body workout. I'm just gonna pop back in, back and forth and chat with you a bit. So yeah, so again, I promise not to bore you with the entire workout. I'm just, I gotta get myself going.
All right, so now that I've warmed up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into today's workout. Some days I come with a plan, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Some days I'll just choose a YouTube video and I'll just go from there. And then other days, like I just kinda like do what my body feels that it needs and today is one of those days. I feel like I need more stretching today as well as I will do some lifts but it will be with more like lightweight and more of a, um, a band workout. Also, um, I do need to do a live video because my friend Charla wanted to know like how do you start your um, strength, that is so crooked, oh my gosh. How do you start your strength training? Like how do you start strength training? Um, so whenever you guys are trying to decide like how to start your strength training program, and I'll do a full blown video on it, but one of the most important things is to decide what is your goal? Like, what is it that you're actually going after? And like, for me, I know a lot of, like I'll get messages from some of my friends sometimes about, um, because a lot of people are used to me being like, you know, track and field athlete, like the way that I used to lift before, like you guys probably see like old videos on the channel when I first started my journey. Like I was into like CrossFit and all of that stuff. But like my goal honestly is not to lift heavy. Like my goal is not even to, I know that on Instagram right now, like TikTok and everything is really popular. Like the, the body type of like having like the super thick thighs and really fat bums. I know that's like trending and that's very popular. But for me, you guys, I've done it all. Like I've, I've, I've done, I've done it all. Just trust me on this. Military body, track and field body, basketball girl. Like I've done it all. So I know myself, right? And I know that me building like these massive legs and me building this massive bomb, I know that for me, that is hard to maintain. For me, um, not for everyone, like it all depends on like how you're um, building your lifestyle around it. But I know that for me to maintain that muscle mass without it looking fat, and I'm just being honest here, okay? Please, no one come at me. In order for me to maintain that, that body frame, because I've had it before. I I work too much currently. Um, also, I don't have the time to put into being able to lift as much as I would need to, because for me to keep that looking really, really, really nice, I actually need to be able to lift like five to six days a week and like split my body parts. And you guys see currently I'm only lifting like three days a week and I'm doing a total body lift. So I would need to dedicate more time to each body part in order to maintain that look. So that is not the look that I'm going for. Um, currently I'm going for a body type that I feel I can maintain for the rest of my life. Like I'm actually not like slim cause I'm not a slim girl. Like I'll always have some form of musculature but I'm just looking for the body type. If I can find a picture of something, I'll be sure to insert it here. Maybe like an old picture of myself. I don't know. But, and if I, if I don't put a picture, it means that I'll put it in eventually. But my goal is just to maintain like a figure to where it just looks like I work out. Like it doesn't look like I spend, you know, an incredible amount of time in the gym. It just looks like I work out and I eat well. So slender, um, what do they call it? Not slim thick. Some of you are probably laughing. So slim thick is like when you have girls that are like naturally thin, but then they like put on some muscle mass. I'm not a naturally thin girl. Um, so I just want to look tone, like overall just kind of like tone. And not that I don't want a bomb, cause I do, I do, but I just want like a boom, boom, boom. You know, like I'm not trying to, I know it's really popular. I don't know if I said this already, but I know that it's really popular and trending to like give yourself a BBL, but that's not really like what I'm going for. I want a bomb, but I want to be able to fit um, certain jeans and not have that whole struggle because that's another thing too when I tend to put on a ton of muscle mass like what ends up happening is that the jeans are like extremely you know loose in the waist but then like my legs are like mass so then like my legs and my butt don't fit in the jeans and then i have to like go up a few sizes and i just want normal like i just want like that the day when i ever do if i ever become a grandma like a mimi that's like oh maybe take care of myself you know like I'm not necessarily looking for like, oh, maybe be killing it in the gym. I mean, wait, that sounds good though. But like, not like, I wanna look like I, I spend time at my grandkids' um, games and stuff, like supporting them in comparison to the amount of time I spent in the gym and milk prepping and 
eating like six meals a day. I told you, you guys are just getting ramblers from my brain today. All right, so let me do a little bit of a workout and then let's talk about the weigh-in because this video is probably gonna be way too long if we continue to talk about my ramblings in my brain. the only way that you can tone that rear and your hamstrings there are so many exercises that you can just do at home very simple and easy even the squats can be do done at home as well all right so you guys know last week i weighed in at 218.6 pounds so as far as like oh my gosh my dog is literally right there under my feet so as far as like going over the pros and cons from last week one of the cons like downside was that um, Monday after Monday I had already closed my eating window but my husband called me and was like hey what do you want for dinner I'm like babe the cover already eaten you already know that he goes no actually he goes is your window closed yes dude it is it's closed but he came home with, it's not like I didn't know he was like what do you want so I had general chicken and sushi so the general chicken was freaking amazing but it is not something that I would typically eat because if I'm not mistaken, unless there's a different way to make general chicken, typically it's fried and tossed in like that sugary glaze. Y'all, <laughs> I don't know, like it was good. I wanted it, I enjoyed it. I didn't feel guilty about it. The only thing I did feel guilty about, oh my gosh. The thing I did feel guilty about was that I felt the need, like I got that old like diet brain going on Monday and I felt the need to finish it like eat like I wanted to make sure there were no leftovers like so I ate it all so that I wouldn't eat it anymore the rest of the week and that made no sense at all like even saying that out loud it didn't make any sense so that's the bad part bad not bad but bad part of the week I could have gone without that honestly I really could have and then the next morning I was just feeling like so heavy and so bloated and just so blah so I would say not like eating the general chicken was the bad part, but like the way I felt the day after was probably like the bad part. The good part is that, um, oh, another bad part. I don't, I didn't hit my step count. Let me go grab my notebook real quickly. All right, so I had mentioned to you guys in last week's video that um, since I'm weight training more, like doing more strength training, I'm not hitting my step count. And in last week's video, I hit a total of like, 55,969 steps and my goal was to get back to doing my 70,000 steps well I only hit a total of you can't probably can't see it there so my total steps for the week were for last week was 68,279 steps and I think I probably would have hit 70,000 except for Sunday which was a positive like I mentioned earlier I did go on a 10 mile bike ride so even though I didn't map that ride, like so technically those steps did not count. I mean, in a sense, I did hit my 70,000, but I am, this brain of mine be like playing games with me. So this week I am being very intentional about hitting those 70,000 steps in addition to my strength training. Um, I don't feel like I'm overtraining. I know I've talked a lot about like feeling sore and all of that stuff. You guys, I don't feel like I'm overtraining. Actually tomorrow, Thursday is an off day for me. So I'll be taking the day off and I won't be lifting. I may walk, uh, well, I have to walk a dog, but like I may walk a little bit, but mostly um, a rest day. I just wanna take a quick look. A few other great things was diet was pretty much on point. Oh, a positive is that I definitely feel like I have gotten to the point to where I eat the foods that I want. Um, I'm not like just eating crappy food that I don't like. Like I had more of that um, buffalo dip, more of the chicken salad that I got from Aldi. Um, I had some chips, I had tater tots, I'm eating salmon. You guys know I eat a lot of healthy stuff. I'll throw some nice pictures up in here. I do eat a lot of salads and veggies and fruit and all of that stuff, but I guess the point that I'm trying to make is that I've gotten to the point with intermittent fasting where I do feel that between the fasting and the strength training, I am allowed a little more. I'm not just eating healthy food all the time. Like if I feel that, hey, I wanna eat, if I feel that I wanna eat like general chicken, <laughs> 
then there is a little bit of forgiveness. All right, so this week, you guys, I am so proud to share with you that this week, I'll put it here, I weighed in at 217.4 pounds. Yes! Uh-uh. Go Felicia, go Felicia. Hey, hey. Yes, I am so proud, I'm so excited. Super proud of myself because I am putting the work in. So it is nice to see the scale move as I put the work in. Yeah, so from here, I just need to do a few upper body movements. You guys, your workouts don't have to take all day. Um, and you don't have to hit, like, when I say total body, Workouts, I'm not hitting every single muscle group. Like I hit the body parts that I feel that I need to hit that day. Sometimes I'll do compound movements and compound movements is basically where you're engaging like a lot of muscle groups at one time. So I'm gonna do um, a few upper body movements and then after that I'm gonna do some floor work and work my core and do some stretching and then I'll be all done. I'll try to film some in case somebody wants to see some of that. But I'm sure that after the weigh-in part, that's where most people tend to click off of the video. And I'm good with that. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. So if you're clicking out now, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And for the rest of you, I'll just do, oh, you guys, please subscribe. Like there's a huge portion in my analytics. Like I'm finally starting to, you know, dig in more, like look at my analytics, my analytics and all of that. And there are a ton of you that watch the videos um, but are not subscribed. So please, if you can do that for me, that will mean the world of a difference. Oh, let me tell you guys something else. So last week at my full-time job, our new CEO came. I'm almost afraid to share this because sometimes people from work watch my videos. Um, I'm, gonna I'm gonna say it anyways, okay. So the CEO of our new company, she is a bad mama jamma. Oh my gosh, she is, mm, Mm, mm. she oh whew. maybe I'll go into some details later but she is a bad mama jamma and I know that a lot of people in our organization are just like so inspired and motivated by you know her being a part of our organization like for where our organization can go or may go or how we can grow from here and I gotta be honest with you guys like ever since I've been ever since she spoke like I've just like oh in my belly like I just feel like it's been so inspiring for me as to like what I can do and how I can build happily ever after living like I want to be a person that touches the lives of many people and a person that inspires to inspire people to lose weight get healthy and just live happy um not like losing weight in the sense of like for vanity reasons but just to feel you guys i feel so good just to feel good in your body um to be able to play you know with your kids your grandkids just to be able to do the things you do you want to do in life to go hiking to get off the floor like just those things it just she inspired me with what she's done in her career from the time of 25 like she has inspired me so much because basically all it is is like taking a chance on yourself like believing in yourself and taking a chance on yourself like you have to have the audacity like every time i get in front of this camera i get in front of this camera with the audacity that even if I inspired one person, and by the way, I have already told my husband that if I go before him, I just want people at my service to say like how I inspired them. I don't want it to be like sad or anything. I just want people to be able to say like, you know, Felicia inspired me by whether I make you laugh, smile, you know, do some deep thinking, step up your game in life, like whatever it is. Like that just makes me feel so good. I told you, you guys are getting a lot of rambling. <laughs> You guys are getting so many ramblings today, but this is what happens when I don't plan a video. Um, so yeah, like it just really inspired me. Like, if you just take a chance on yourself and have the audacity to show up, you never know where you can end up. You never know like what you can do. And for me, yeah, like I do want to be able to grow a very booming and successful business with Happily Ever After Living, but I also just want to touch the lives of so many people and inspire so many people so yeah okay all right i need to do some upper body workouts and some floor work